Hello and welcome to an overview of MITIS Business Intelligence. The objective of this overview is to show you some of the capabilities that MITIS Business Intelligence has and how they can help you manage your business better. To do this we've picked a scenario based around profitability which is just one of the areas addressed by the solution. So to start this scenario I'm going to adopt the role of Ken Seeley, the Chief Operating Officer for Retail Bank. He's received an email alerting him to the fact that UK profitability is poor and has been falling. Ken is going to log on to his dashboard to investigate further. So here I'm looking at my MITIS Business Intelligence dashboard and these items have been chosen by me as they reflect key indicators of performance that I want to monitor. We can see there's a variety of methods to demonstrate these metrics pie charts, bar charts, maps and some straightforward figures. I can see in the top left hand corner around profitability that the UK is red and that's a specific case out of all the countries that I need to investigate. Clicking on the specific UK metric I can drill down and see that profitability has fallen off alarmingly this quarter. It's below target and below a tolerance range that we've set. I'm now going to write a comment alerting those responsible for UK profitability that we need to investigate and rectify this issue. Back on the dashboard we can see that my comment has been noted against that metric and that those responsible will receive an email alert as I did before asking them to investigate. So I'm now going to switch into the role of Bill Smith who's responsible for UK profitability. I've received an alert just like Ken Seeley did, but with his comment underneath asking me to investigate and rectify the issue. So looking at my profitability dashboard, I can see a number of elements here, including relevant news feeds and metrics that I've chosen to look at on my scorecard. I have the underlying UK profit metric, including the comment from Ken Seeley. Having a little bit of a closer look at the issue in question, I can see that the metrics show me that it's getting worse and requires attention. I'll come back to these metrics in a moment, but there's also a couple of charts in the bottom of the screen showing profit by segment and profit by product. I can drill into these, so for example I might be interested in my mortgage products as they make up the largest part of my profits in the UK. I can click on that portion of the chart and drill in and get some more information. So we can see in the top left hand corner that we're looking at secured mortgages and on the right hand side we're looking at the profit trend by countries. In this case I'm only interested in the UK so I can click on that and filter by just UK data. So now I'd like to have a look at this product's performance against others in the UK so I can click on the UK map and drill down further. So here I can see the products side by side as I've decided to group them and report them in the business intelligence solution. I can see that secured mortgages are by far the largest contributor to profitability, but I may want to change how I look at this and look at it as a percentage bar. In this case, looking at this chart by percentage bar is the best way of assessing it against the measurement of credit risk ratings as I can instantly see that over half of the mortgages made have been to clients with a credit risk rating of 4, 5, 6 or 7. Maybe this credit rating split is having some effect on profitability of this product. Going back to my scorecard I can investigate the metric a little bit further. Drilling in I can see the trend as Ken Seeley did over the last couple of quarters but also at the bottom of the screen I can see the trend over a longer scale of time. This will give me an opportunity to see if there's any seasonal variance which might explain the performance. Or I can click on the list tab and look at the numbers in tabular form. We can see that Ken Seeley's comment has been carried forward to this level and that I need to get back to him with proposals to rectify this issue. The fall in UK profitability hasn't come as a complete surprise to the UK group so if I click on the actions tab I can see a task force has been set up 
to draw up proposals to rectify this issue in any case and they're on target to do so within the timelines we've agreed. The metric is still red because clearly these proposals haven't been implemented yet but they should provide me with some content to go back to Ken Seeley with. However, no metric stands in isolation. So if I click on the Diagrams tab, I can go and see exactly how all the metrics fit together to build up the United Kingdom profit figure. The different symbols and colours represent the current status of those elements, and if I hover over the United Kingdom profit, I can see the chart again that we've seen before, and if I click on it, I can go up a level to Group Profit and see the United Kingdom's peers and how they're contributing. However, my issue today is with United Kingdom profit. So if I go back to UK profit and have a look at that makeup, I can see it's being adversely affected by secured mortgages and unsecured personal loans. And I know that secured mortgages is the biggest contributor because I saw that on the original dashboard. So I can go down further and see what's adversely affecting that. And I can see that it's to do with fee income. So now we're down at this level. I may want to see if we've got a little bit more insight as to what's driving these numbers. So if I pick the Reports tab, I can see we have prepared a report which shows us profit and total fee income by client segment. From this report I can see that the mid-income customer base provides us with the biggest slice of income, with high net worth customers a close second. So I've established that fee income for this segment is a key driver of my profitability. So I'd probably want to monitor this number. So I'm going to set up a rule now to say that if it drops below a million, I want to know about it. So here I can enter a lower limit of one million for total fee income. Click on Next. And in this case, I'll choose for the report to be published. and here I can create a name for that alert and save it. So now I'll automatically receive an email notification if this number drops below 1 million and that gives me an early warning of a problem that I need to deal with. Thinking slightly further ahead it's also given me an idea that I may want to look at fee income as a percentage of profit across all the product lines. This may be something that I ask someone in my team to do and this is something that can be done simply by a business analyst and does not need an IT specialist. So now we can open Query Studio which is a simple tool to allow us to create reports. It's simple to use so it can be used by business users without a requirement for IT skills and as long as business users understand what they want they can drag and drop data and summaries and groupings and f try different formats to get the best combination for their purposes. So I want to do some comparisons here and I'll start off by comparing the performance of different countries so I'm going to pull in the country name and next I want to compare the products so I'm going to grab the product name and drop that into my report and I need some measures so I'm going to pull in total fee income and profit as those are the two that we want to look at and I now need to create a calculation as my idea was to compare the fee income with the profit. So I'm going to do a simple calculation here. There are a number of types but I'm going to go for a percentage and I want to see percentage of the total fee income so I'm going to call it percentage of fee income as the calculation so I'll insert that and so that results in my calculation coming down the right hand side here but I really want to focus people just on that rather than on the underlying numbers so I can actually delete the other two columns. But it's still a little bit difficult to see who the good and bad guys are here so I can actually drag and drop the uh, product name to make a cross tab table. So I think some conditional formatting would really help visually here and I can create a rule for that so I can say that anything below 8% is poor and anything over 10 is excellent. In this case I'm going to change the average ones to be black font and a yellow background. So this is starting to look a little bit better. It's showing us where we are and aren't achieving the fee income that we'd like. And it shows we're under a little bit of pressure across the board in secured mortgages 
uh, as their red, you can see here. And I may want to enhance the report with a graphical illustration of the same data by adding a 3D chart here. And you can see we can create one which shows country and product and the percentage of fee income calculation that I did earlier. And I can tidy up this report for publishing by making the countries into section headers and page headers. And I can publish it, for example, in a PDF report. So that's just one example, but I think you can see that the tool allows it to be built very quickly and easily and to be done so by someone from the business area who actually understands what it is they're trying to show and allows them to drag and drop by trial and error to get the best format and the right data for their requirement. Also we have the opportunity to do what's called bursting here and what that means is that we can distribute the report to the country heads but in a way which means they only get the data that's relevant to the country that they're responsible for. Okay I'm going to exit out of that, I'm not going to save it. So I've also been working on a presentation about client profitability and I want to update that now so I'm going to click on that presentation PowerPoint inside the portal. So opening that up, uh, I can use one of the options within MySys Business Intelligence, which is to open the Office connection. And this enables me to pick up charts and objects I've created and pull them into Word, PowerPoint or Excel. So I'm going to browse through my folders to get to my Banking Data Warehouse folder. And I can see my fee income percentage of total profit report. So I'm going to import content from that. And I'm going to pull in the cross tab report that you saw me create earlier. And I can confirm all of that. And you can see that's now embedded in my PowerPoint presentation. And we can just tidy it up a little bit and have a look at it in full screen. Now we've all seen charts and tables in PowerPoint before, but what's different about this is it's actually embedded within it. It's linked back to the original data. So when I pick up this PowerPoint for next month's report, I can simply refresh it and all that data will be brought up to date. We've seen just one scenario based on profitability analysis, which in itself is just one area covered by MySys Business Intelligence. We've seen how the dashboards, metrics and reports can be configured to the structure of different banks and requirements of different users. However, these capabilities only work because the underlying data has already been extracted and mapped into the solution by MySys. This extraction and mapping exercise usually accounts for the majority of the complexity, time, effort and cost of a BI project, but is delivered out of the box with MISIS Business Intelligence.